Chancellor Wiener, Chairman Abair, President and Vice Chancellor Shepard, Dr. Martin, Dean Asif, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families, and friends. Madame de, Madame de Messieurs, félicitations à tous. Je suis bien heureuse d'être avec vous et vous êtes les bienvenus. I am proud to address you today on behalf of the beautiful graduating class of 2017. We are all gathered here to celebrate the good and hard times, the success and the failures that we faced during our four or more years at Concordia University, a university that prides itself on creating an atmosphere responsive to students' needs. To help reflect on this journey we embarked on, I drafted a manual titled, How to Make an Engineer at Concordia University. This manual consists of four chapters that should help display and remind us of the phases that we've been through. Chapter one, the hustle. When we first arrived at Concordia University, we were scared. We feared what lies ahead, and we weren't sure what to expect. We wondered where or how to make friends. We attended the lectures, but often felt clueless and lost, and frequently questioned our ability to write proper notes. The only thing that we all hopefully knew back then was that we liked physics and we enjoyed solving math problems. But what's engineering anyway? Chapter two, know the hood. At this point, we found our perfect study space in the library, and we discovered that solution manuals exist. We became familiar with most of the nearby restaurants, especially Pizza Bella. Professors now recognize us, and they notice our absence. That's when the attendance sheet started showing up. The differential equations that we once wondered about in high school now seem to have a real life application. We thought to ourselves, we think we might know what engineering really is. Chapter three, eighth floor is home. <laughs> we now know more about most of the services offered to us by the university and we feel that we are able to give advice to new students just like we received upon entering. We discovered the existence of student clubs, associations like the CSU, ECA, and others, and we became members. Some of us even took on leadership roles in them. But it is at this point that we decided that sweatpants and, ho and hoodies are the way to go and we became completely addicted to caffeine. On the other hand, we started experiencing some engineering tasks that involved milling machines, lathes, grinding machines, and we think we like engineering now. Chapter four, surviving capstone. The professors who were once strangers are now our family. We care about each other. And the friends that we weren't sure where or how to make are now, our are now our family. They are the ones we call at three in the morning to go grab a bite after long study hours in the library. It is in this phase that we go through the most anticipated milestone of, of them all, capstone. The guide through engineering experience from research to design all through testing. The real industrial open-ended problem that we get to tackle as one team. It is also in this phase that we realize the end of having to endure sleepless nights at the library, surviving on pizza and poutine, and the horror of having a class in the FG building. Thank God for the tunnel though. That is the manual that we all can hopefully relate to. These are the steps for, for many of us undergraduates but we should not forget the hardships and the tough times associated with our journey. We all know what it feels like to get a disappointing grade, but we also know how hard we work to change that grade to be where we are today. And not only that, 
We also know what it feels like to go through extenuating circumstances in the midst of our studies. My mother, my best friend, my main source of support and guidance. was laying on an intensive care bed between life and death for two months during my capstone year due to a heart failure. My whole life fell apart and I was torn to pieces. I did not think I will ever finish my degree. But that source of guidance and support system is what I found here at Concordia amid my classmates who came to visit me in the hospital my professors, the Dean of Students Office, and the Dean himself. We have all helped give each other the power to overcome obstacles and transform them into the will to succeed. And to this, we owe each other and the Concordia community as a whole. Today is a day of happiness that we share with our family, friends, and loved ones. We celebrate finishing our current mission, which is of course overcoming the snow, and we feel we are finally at the end of the road, proud for successfully completing this chapter of our lives. We feel sad to leave our professors and university behind, but we promise you, we will be worth the effort and responsibility. We will continue to learn, grow, be fearless, and achieve great things without limits, just like we were taught to do here. Class of 2017, this is your dress, and this is your day. This is our turn to influence the world for the better. I ask that you follow your dreams and do what makes you happy. And most importantly, what makes the world a better place. Thank you. Jenna, I want to thank you on behalf of everyone here for the tremendous show of strength, for your aspirations, and an inspirational valedictorian address. 